The Isle News. Okay, guys, so I'm here, your only source of gaming news on the internet, and especially Isle News. There's no other YouTuber that covers it. And we're about to talk about some very exciting stuff here. So, as you can see from these tweets that I have that's popping up right now, uh, the Isle might be coming out with a Battle Royale mode. Now, me and April have been talking about it, and it's something I kind of thought about a while ago. If they do a Battle Royale mode with only dinosaurs, that would be pretty sick. There has to be some restrictions, and I have a few different ideas I'm going to talk about. But yeah, as you can see from this, uh, me and April were talking about it. April actually tweeted about it, and I said, still in my idea. And then, um, Dondi. Dondi came with the tweet. He said, you'll see something you like in the future. And I was like, okay, making a video. Delete, delete this tweet before Anthomnia sees it. Okay, so immediately after, he actually deleted the tweet. And I was like, oh my god, he deleted the tweet. And I'm going to show some other random tweets and uh, stuff like that. The conversation continued on. And then Anthony actually came up with uh, a GIF that says, I saw that. <laughs> so he hasn't made a video about it, so I'm guessing he hasn't seen that. Or he decided to respect my uh, my wishes and didn't make a video. So anyways, I'll uh, coming up with the Battle Royale mode would be sick. I want to do a few restrictions, though. I think the way it should work is it should be teams of like 5, 8, 10, something like that. Teams work this way. There would be 100 players, just like normal battle, uh, battle Royale, just like PUBG, Fortnite, all that kind of stuff. And, but the thing is, is you can't have T-Rexes versus Velociraptors and that kind of stuff. So you're going to have to put it into a tier system. Each team, let's just say, for example, say, can hold a maximum of, I don't know, five people or eight people or something like that. The dinosaurs are going to have to be tweaked, though, for the Battle Royale system. Of course, there's probably other several different ways to do this. If you know or can think of any cool ways or suggestions for a Battle Royale system, comment down below. I'd love to hear about it, and I'll probably tell Dondi the best ideas, and or I'll make another video about it myself. So you have tier you have tier 1 through tier, let's say, 6, okay? So tier 1 can only be smaller creatures, uh, probably smaller herbivores with attacks, smaller carnivores with attacks, something like the raptor, you know, stuff like that. Of course, you're gonna have to remove some uh, dinosaurs from this mode that don't have attacks or give them attacks. And also would include maybe something like humans. Except for humans with uh, actual bows and arrows and or weapons are probably gonna be higher up in the tier list. Let's say humans might be tier two and that's when you're gonna get into some of the bigger dinosaurs. Tier three, you're gonna have even bigger dinosaurs, maybe like Carnos, stuff like that. Tier four might be, you know, trikes, whatever. Then we have Rexes and then the final tier would be the bigger creatures like Rexes and stuff like that. Hypos might be a little too much, but the way the tier system works is let's just say uh, tier six is Rexes and Spinos and Gigas. There would only be one of those per team, whereas tier five would have like two dinosaurs, uh, tier four would have three, you know, tier three would have four, you know, that kind of thing. And it would kind of go down the chain. Of course, you would probably simplify this. I don't have an actual list or standard layout for everything in the game. That's something the developers have to pay, uh, think about. But that would actually give you the opportunity to be able to play as all the dinosaurs in a battle royale style mode. And uh, of course, it'd be sick. Also, they could just go only humans or only certain type of creatures. They could be like, you know, 10 Rexes versus 80, Raptors or something you know you can do any sort of different modes like that and really the sky's the limit when you think about it they could do so many different game modes so another thought I had is you could have the battle royale only be one type of creature or maybe a smaller select type of creatures all of them have to be sort of equal you have a hundred of them and uh, they do the normal battle royale thing well at the end of each match based on your performance you get a certain amount of points well, with those points, you can actually go into the next game and be like, let's say you have 100 points. You've won like five games in a row. You have 100 points. You're like, okay, I want a Carno this round. So you buy the Carno, you lose the points, you go into the next round with the Carno, and of course, you're going to be more likely to win, but you're also going to be playing with a bunch of other players that's unlocked uh, points and maybe have Rexes and Carnos and other stuff. And it's kind of like a gamble, random sort of thing, and that's another way to kind of like use points and get points. And I honestly, I think this might be a better system than what I talked about before. Because every match is going to be different. Every match is going to be random. You never know what you're going to actually come up with. And this is going to be a little bit more RNG for the player going to a match. Because they never know if they want to spend those 50 points or those 200 points or whatever. Or save up for those 1,000 points for the hypo. You know what I mean? And the thing is, is if enough players gang up on you, you can still die. And you're going to get attrition throughout the match. 
and there might not be ways to heal you i don't really know i haven't really thought that far yet but i think this system would work even better where you get points and use them afterwards i think this would actually be pretty sick and with the popularity of battle royale right now i think it might be a crazy idea especially for the isle i think i would make a good game you guys can i'm sure some a lot of you disagree or agree and have different ideas and suggestions you can go ahead and talk about that below now as for isle they could even have a bunch of different game modes besides battle royale battle royale would be cool there's a bunch of different things ways you can do it but they can have something like a horde mode with purely ai or they could really do anything man and i don't know if isle has plans to add any sort of building in the future but i think the reason things like fortnite and stuff are so popular and we already have seen the failure of arcs battle royale mode i think the reason is because of the accessibility and the way everything works it's a little too complicated Whereas Fortnite, when you build something, you just press a single button. You don't have to craft it. You, you don't really gather the resources besides swinging a simple, uh, single thing. So I don't know if Isle has plans of building in the future. And this is the way, honestly, Ark should change their battle royale system. Is I think they should make it so buildings easier and better. That way you can have the fast-paced gameplay, along with all the goofy shit that Fortnite adds. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's why Fortnite's so popular is because it adds so many different styles of play and you have all the goofy weapons and pulse grenades and C4 and people try to just do ridiculous shit in it. You know, that's why it's so great. Anyways, guys, tell me what you think about that. Any cool game modes, any suggestions or ideas down below. I just want to bring it to your attention uh, because Dondi did say something about it. Now, this isn't 100% confirmed, but he did say you will see something you like in the future. So there might be something like a Battle Royale or some other game mode that's similar that's going to be added to the aisle. But I think having a sandbox-like game, but having a limit on it, kind of like Battle Royale does, where it limits the amount of time because there's, a, 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 there's an increasingly small circle as you play and it kind of forces all the players together uh you know at the very end right i think a sandbox mode needs something like that to make sandbox probably more engaging more fun the owl can add in rewards and loot or whatever else they want to do maybe skins for dinosaurs really the sky is the limit here as for other owl news i really there's not that much they are adding a parasaur we i'm going to show some pics up here of the parasaur they look really really sick the parasaurs are huge um, i'm pretty sure i've seen some side by side they're really really big and the parasaurs look really good you can see a baby you can see like a sub adult and then or a juvenile and then you can see a full-grown parasaur here now parasaurs i can't wait to hear what they sound like because from all the games i've played with parasaurs in them they sound really really cool like i don't know i don't really know how to describe it but they just sound really cool also they look really awesome i'm definitely gonna be playing this as soon as it comes out uh also new to the aisle here is we have juveniles babies and sub adults of the trike so the trike we have some pictures i'm going to show you uh one of these is actually really really cool it's like a mother trike protecting its babies as the babies run away from the t-rex and then there's a picture of the trike and the baby and all that kind of stuff side by side really really adorable i like the new trike models i like that they're kind of slowly adding in the sub adults and juveniles and stuff of all the creatures maybe not all the creatures but a lot of the creatures and they're doing it slowly over time so eventually you probably will have all the creatures added in and there's gonna be full progressive life stages and you can pretty much do everything and i, I think it really takes a lot of work and a lot of time and effort to add different models and different sizes and stuff for all these creatures and um yeah I'm, i just they've done a really good job so far now the very very last thing i'm going to talk about is the olympus transmitter now the olympus transmitter the latest broadcast we have is something colossal comes this way with a pound pound slash slash and then also there's older ones we hear you gen 1 prime incubation cleared at signal reach of uh, 1000 analyzed result blocked reroute result blocked and then we have result pushed now i haven't been keeping up with the owl story maybe you guys can tell me a lot about that down below but this twitter was made specifically for the aisle and involving the story I've heard a lot from Donnie about the story in the past, but I think a lot of that has changed, and I've never really mentioned it because the game and story and everything is going to change slowly over time. Now, uh, in the past, I heard from Donnie that there's going to be very specific ways of getting hypos that are going to be really involved and require a lot of effort, so I don't know if that's still true and if they're going to be do doing something like that. Like I said, I mean, ideas probably pop in and out, and it changes every month, so I have no idea. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go and call that there. This has been your first episode of Isle News. I'm not sure if I'm going to do any more. If you like this, then comment down below. Make sure to smash the like button, and I'd love to hear some talk about all the stuff I did talk about, maybe ideas and stuff like that. So, anyways, love your faces and I'll see you in the next one.